praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Well, thank you, Pastor Joanne. Now, the Lord has spoken with me. I want the listenership, the entire listenership, all the global listenership that is tuned in today and at this hour to get to know that the Lord Jehovah Elohim, the creator of all the universe and man, Jehovah Adonai, our sovereign Lord, Jehovah Elion, the Lord, the Most High God. He has spoken with me. Uh, today he spoke with me about events about to befall the earth. Again, I'm saying that the Lord, the God of Israel, the God of heaven, the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, he has spoken with me about some events that are coming to the earth. And these are events that are of great and serious significance to the church and to the nations. And in this conversation, I see a bay area, which means the ocean goes in and buildings have been built, beautifully built, look like a very modern place, look like a modern country. And I see a b buildings built, the bay area, the ocean goes in a little bit like this, and the buildings are built around it, like kind of a bay peninsula, if you want. And uh, with nice buildings built in there. So the Lord takes me there. He took me there. And uh, I see a boat. A boat which is built with, uh, you know, these nice boats. It's white in color. Very nice boat. Like the one for running around, you know, people, the way they have their personal private boats for running around. Or they have the police boats. These boats that run around that people use, it looks like private boats. And so, the Lord brings me to that developed place with an ocean that comes in a little bit there. And he puts me in one of the buildings. And uh, all of a sudden, I see a tremendous storm, what looks like a storm, come. And the boat starts to race from inside, from where? Near the buildings, racing into the bay, racing towards the ocean, but so high speed, they were trying to get away because of something that's happening, that I'm going to say in a moment. Then I see that boat totally sink. It was so shocking and very horrific. Totally sink into the ocean right in my eyes. A white boat with a built part like a first floor of it, you know, and all that, sinks in. So I began to run for my life also from the building where I was because a massive earthquake begins to shake the tall building. It's a huge earthquake. I began to run for my life. Very massive earthquake. But I see a big, like a storm. When I'm running out, I see a lot of water splashing out, which looks like a storm. And then... The Lord again shows me a lot of insects that look like flies that have totally covered that place. And I'm running between the insects, a lot of insects that look like flies. And again, a very massive temblor. This kind of earthquake is big. The kind I say it was coming to the Western Hemisphere, which shook all the way to the Johns Hopkins Hospital and all that area of the U.S. in New York. And this is the nature of that earthquake, a temblor. So it makes me understand that the other boat that sank, it could have been because of an earthquake that opened at the bottom of the sea. That's why the boat was thrown and sunk in. And the buildings shake, temblor, big earthquake. That's a huge earthquake. And as I run, then I run into a lot of insects that look like flies. And the Lord shows me twice. At one point, he stopped me and said, but can't you see? This is like, it's like a, a, a kingdom of flies. He uses those words in my voice as I ra try to run away. Well, we know it too well that every time the Lord speaks and presents insects, that is judgment coming to the land. Judgment. So the Lord is saying that there's a very massive earthquake that is coming to the earth. And the path that is going to be hit, this is a very developed part, and they have these boats that run by the bay. There's a kind of a peninsula bay 
the water goes inland a little bit and then buildings are built very well around it. And the boat that I see is a white boat, painted white. It's like those boats that sometimes could be pulling a ship or directing a ship as it's leaving. But this looks like a private boat. It has a fast flow I can see with those antenna, communication antenna, white boat, and it begins to run at a very high speed and sinks. So now I understand, because I am in the building also next, within the same bay, and a huge temple or earthquake shakes the building, I begin to run for my life. So it tells me that that boat sunk in a very horrific way and went deep because there must have been an earthquake that opened up the bottom of the ocean. And so these things are coming to happen to the earth at this time. And why does the Lord speak to me about this? The Bible in the book of Matthew chapter 24 speaks very clearly here about the time. And he says here in Matthew chapter 24, verse 6, he says, You will hear of wars and rumors of wars. And I know that all of you have heard of wars right now and rumors of wars. And But see to it that you are not alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. He's talking about the close of time, the final judgment, the seventh trumpet that is not yet come. However, the church is not waiting for that trumpet. And verse 7, it says, Nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famine and earthquakes in various places. And it says, all these are the beginning of birth pains. Now, you have heard about the wars, the war against the ISIS, the war between nations, the war against Boko Haram, against Al-Shabaab, the African Union, the coalitions, and so forth. All these wars in Ukraine, everywhere, war, war, different types of wars, that's what he's talking about. The war in Mexico against the gang, killing students, drug gangs, and all this with the police, and all this. He's talking about different types of wars. When he says nation will rise against nation, and different other types of wars, kingdom against kingdom, and rumors of wars and wars. This you have heard. And then he says there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. Now... These are the earthquakes the Lord is talking to me about and sending me to announce across the face of the earth, to the nations of the earth. There is going to be an earthquake, and these earthquakes, they act tableau. They act as indicators. They are signatures, spiritual signatures, that navigate, should be able to navigate the church as to where we are at towards the coming of the Messiah. Because it says these are the beginning of our pain, meaning before the tribulation. But we know that the church is taken into the rapture before the tribulation, because after the rapture, during the tribulation, there will be no worship. But whenever the church is on the earth, she has to worship Jesus. So that can only tell you that when the holy temple of the Holy Spirit, the church, the holy church, is taken up into the rapture, then there will be darkness over the earth. Then the Holy Spirit will have gone. So the dominion, then the dominion of the Antichrist and the tribulation and the great tribulation will be here. That is common sense today now. Everybody now understands that. So that is the chronology of events. Because we know it too well that the Holy Church, Holy, I mean the Holy Church, is the vessel, the dwelling of the Holy Spirit. And for as long as we are here, the Church is here, in the book of Second Thessalonians chapter 2, if you read verse 3, 4 onwards down to 7, it says, The spirit of the Antichrist is here, but he that is holding him back still continues to do so. And he says, The Antichrist and his dominion will not be revealed until he that is holding him back is removed out of the way. And we know that only the Holy Spirit is holding the Antichrist back. And so it can only tell you that when the rapture takes place, when the dwelling of the Holy Spirit, the church, the Holy Church, is taken up into the rapture, then the Holy Spirit is taken away. And then you have that dispensation of bad faith, the tribulation, the great tribulation, where you are not allowed to worship Jesus. As long as the church is here, we will always worship Jesus. What is the message then to the nations of the earth? 
from this mighty, mighty prophecy of what is coming to happen. This conversation of today with the, between the Lord and the church, the Lord and the nation, the Lord and humanity, the Lord and the world, the Lord and the universe. He's saying, if at all the Holy Church is the vessel, the dwelling of the Holy Spirit that will be taken away at rapture, and if these earthquakes I'm announcing are the signs that the Messiah is coming, then it goes without saying that the instruction the Lord is dispensing forth to the church world over is that this is the hour of holiness. That this is the dispensation of righteousness. That this is when the false prophet must now leave the church. The false apostles must leave the church. The false preachers must leave the church. This is when the Christians must reject any form of defilement, sin, and separate out unto a holy vessel that can be inhabited and dwelled in, that can be dwelt in by the Holy Spirit, that on that day of the coming of the Messiah, that this earthquake announces, they will be taken up into the glorious, eternal kingdom of Jehovah. I have seen the coming of the Messiah. I have also seen the church he takes. He takes a holy church. And when the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 12 verse 14, that make every effort to live in peace with all men and to be holy. And he says, for without holiness, nobody will see the Lord. When the Bible says that, that becomes a benchmark. That becomes an irreducible standard of the coming of the Messiah. And so I'm announcing to the four winds of the earth, to the four corners of the earth, that I've seen a huge tableau, a huge earthquake happen, and I see a boat sinking, and I see a lot of water splashing on me as I'm running, splashing as in a storm. But that water, now I understand, comes as the earthquake, the effect of the earthquake, tsunami, causing a tsunami to come on the land, and people are running. I've run already for my life. And I've seen a lot of insects like flies, meaning this is coming as judgment against sexual sin, sexual immorality, homosexuality, perversion, falsehood, every sin that has defined this generation stands judged. May those who have ears repent, return to holiness, and prepare for the glorious coming of Christ Jesus the Messiah. Shalom.